Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so I'm ready to get back on the server a little bit later. So we're going to continue our playthrough with our sorceress. We're currently level 3. We're going to walk back to the old ruins with Leia. And we are trying to find Here, her let mother. Me open the gate. Actually, do things respawn as we've walked away and walked back? Old Tristram. Diablo himself once walked this place. Oh, so all the uh, all the objects refill. Oh yeah, there's the thing. See if that makes a difference. Oh, the area is different. That's weird. Okay, anyway, well, we'll, uh, we've done this area, so we'll, we'll just carry on, is that it? So Leia opens this gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What about Robert. your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. So we carry on down here. So you see, you get the little uh, gold flying quest markers when you have an objective. So we found a hut. We go inside. Look, a hidden cellar. Follow me. A hidden cellar. We just don't care. So we go into the hidden cellar. I think there was more to your mother than you know. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. She was obviously a witch. Captain Dalton. So you see, running too late doesn't help you get, doesn't help you avoid damage. So the big blue things are the big frost spell orb thing. Let's get away from them. So I don't know if you saw that, but the health pickups also heal your companions. Slow moving, right? I believe that's also the case if you're a witch doctor and you spawn some like uh, zombie dogs or something like that, they'll also be here. Some pants and some clothes, alright. More pants. What do we have? Fuck off. What do we have here? So, some better gloves. Some magic gloves at least. Ah, uh, none of those are any good. So we talked to Leia, big question mark. Uh, Here's the key, and my mother's journal. I will search the cathedral. You stay Thank here. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Okay, so here we've unlocked this. So you've got mouse skills and action bar skills. Um, so defensive, we have something called Frost Nova, which when we do it... <laughs> It's an AoE spell that hits everything around us. But as you can see, I don't believe that those spells cost arcane power, but they do have a cooldown. So you can see it freezes the stuff around us, which is pretty good. Okay, so we will continue on. And again, you see golden arrow to tell you where you're going as well. So it's it's difficult to get lost really in this game. Another unlucky villager. I'm not sure if that was the case so much in the uh, other Diablos. My shoes on. out the ground as well in the first part of this game. So this is Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star is somewhere inside. 
doesn't say anything about whether about what the damage these spells do is based upon. Presumably it's your intelligence statistic. I don't know. Let's have a quick look down here, see if there's anything. The gate we can't open yet, that's fine. Okay, so we're in Tristram Cathedral. Searching for Deckard Cain. This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. So if you saw there's plenty of uh, indestructible environment bits that you can use to your advantage. Oh, so blue is a uh, slightly stronger than average monster. Not a unique, but a stronger monster and it tells you underneath its name what kind of um, ability it has. So there you go, so nightmarish, when it hits you, if that goes off, it causes you to lose control of your character and you just run away. Oops, he's so like that. So some of the skills they have, you have a... Uh, you yeah, have some teleport, some of them look like. I'm sure that as you get to the higher difficulties, um, they'll acquire better or more skills that they can use at once, or qualifies them to be even stronger. We just got um, 120 XP. That wasn't for the monster, that was for the cover of the carrier bat law. Now, those big guys, when you hit them, when you kill them, Start to explode, and they do damage to things around them. So you can use them to kill the monsters. Um, as you see there, you get—I don't know what the cap is—but you get XP for killing groups of monsters within a certain amount of time. A bonus to your XP, which is good. So you should try and maximise that wherever possible. Do at the minute. I'm not overly strong. Um, I did, I did the players three thing, I'm not sure if it worked or not, but this seems to be a bit harder than normal. I mean, I haven't done anything to my character <coughs> to be able to give it yet, so I can only presume that's the case. Uh, bookcases, you can raid book. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I don't think I caught that, I to turn my mic off. Um, you can raid bookcases, you get gold. In most cases, in most instances, I should say, uh, and at this point, every little helps. Right, so there's a guy, there's some people who are really uh, They were on our side, but now they're dead. Yeah, this is 
almost certainly the uh most maybe it isn't the place because I don't know. This, I'm probably making the source just look quite poor. Uh, unless I'm doing something hugely incorrect. I don't see how it can be. Let's carry on. A lot of abilities are based on weapon damage. It could be that I need a new wand. What is that? Three. Let's try changing it and see if this makes a difference. Ah oh, yeah, there we go. So I don't know if you saw that. Uh, spell damage seems to be based on weapon damage. And even though you don't use the weapons for your attack, ooh, you still need to increase your DPS. Your weapon DPS. Can help with that. Oh. It's all gloves and shoes, huh? What's this? Don't know what four percent of magic items will do, but there we are. So I'll take I'll cross I'll lose some armor for the sake of doing a be slightly faster. Masterwork simple dagger, six point eight, that was good. Right. It's inside me! Inside! Ah! I don't know who that was or where they were, but someone's just got killed, I think. I don't have enough arcane power. Just want to get to level 5 for the uh, orb. I'm not actually sure which way we are supposed to go. I'd like to explore the rest of this place before I uh, go the right way. So, we'll try up here and hope it's the wrong way. My name is Lat Danon, and I am Curse. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I lived only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine. Even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. This one die. Okay, so let's carry on. So we've had a journal entry there from a uh, an associate of King Leoric. All right, so we've been everywhere where we can go. So now we need to come back down here. See, sometimes the wayfinding's a bit rubbish. Click there, it just runs you against the uh, barriers, so just be careful for that. <coughs> I mean, I like to hold the mouse down to move anyway, but just if you don't, you know, just watch out for that. Your defenses are nothing! I am stronger still! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so hopefully, here we go, Arcade Orb. So this is... I think probably one of the main AoE spells that you're going to use as a sorceress. I, I, well, as a sorcerer, sorceress, whichever sex you choose to be. And he basically does that. Which is just... It, so it takes 35 magic, uh, 35 arcane power cast. Uh, and he's pretty slick, I think. Just a mix of, of targeted and AoE damage, really. Not to keep the dead trapped here. Back right and save me. 
So this is back to near where we uh, came in, I think. That's good. Let's just nip back this way. There's an area we haven't seen. And a chest. Oh, yeah. With a scouting cloth tunic. What's that? Three armor. That'll do. Oh, and another chest. And a lot of dead bodies. We shall pillage and loot them all. Okay. Oh, so you can see there at the bottom. I tell me I have an empty equipment slot, which means I've picked something up for a slot I don't have anything equipped to, so I'm having a bit of a dense moment seeing what it is. Oh, there, braces. Okay. Also makes barrels easier. Looks like it's probably another dead end up here to explore. Lots of dead people up in this place. Fills us with confidence. Let's carry on. I don't know if there's a, a moral or ethical implication the fact that we just quite happily just loot all these bodies. Defenses are nothing. So now you see why a lot of people like the sorceress. I mean that spell is ridiculous. Okay, so we found the cathedral. Cathedral. Is it the cathedral? Lyriox Passage. Lyriox Passage, sorry. And here we encounter. Oh, minions! Stay back! Back! May this wet Big bad. That can't came. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I. Suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. So, poor old Deckard's getting gangbanged by some skeletons, who all immediately, for no really readily apparent reason, decide they want to come and beat me up instead. So. I love that song, too. Still waiting. So here, this is the first boss slash unique type of we've seen. And they grow yellow. They glow yellow. They don't grow yellow. They already are yellow. And oh yeah. Talk to Deckard oh, Cape. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Okay, we so. must discuss the fallen star. Follow me. Tristram. So we're on the other side of the gate near the cathedral entrance now, which is good. Uh, we'll just come and do any... Pick up any bits we can find, and then we will take the waypoint back to Tristram. And it tells you where you need to go for your quest as well, which is quite handy. Uncle! You're alive! Thanks to you. And Our time is not right, please. 
Okay, so we've done that. We'll come up here and quickly sell our bits that we don't want or need. Oh, we just sold my wand. Probably wasn't smart, but hey ho. Okay, anything we can't sell will break down. So this is where, in the game, you have to go and... Uh, get the we well basically go meet the blacksmith the skeleton key lost the the key. so you can see he's up here now and the blockade from this part of the world is gone so we come up this way and here he is old rumford has us down to half rations blacksmith Not now. i know so basically he won't do he won't help us cuz basically we need to get the crown and do something to it but he won't help us until we Sort out his wife. <laughs> Free his wife, I guess. Hedring, there he is. Hedring. So we'll just try to get all these guys to bunch together. Friends, I'm sorry. You are helping them. You don't need to be sorry. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so. Same sort of deal over here. And so this Miller, is Mrs. My love, forgive me. Ah, uh, help me. Hit there, so she's well sick. I couldn't have done this without you. Well, Hadrick, Decker. I can help you there. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. To get back to town. So that's that particular quest done. So now we are going to open the north, north, the northwest gate, which is here. And up we go. There's a big pack coming this time. Stand your ground. So we introduced to scavengers. Are ugly. scavengers? So we get to XP. Okay, so that's the checkpoint. So I think, guys, probably going to call it quits there. And then, then again, if I can get back on later, I, oh, we're very close to leveling up. But I will call it quits there. If I can get back on to play later, I will do, and I'll put up a bit more video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.